according to one mentor or interpretation of this, which also is the fact of change in the history, you understand, and the revelation of the mystery, is the fact that Africa has about one billion people. And this uh, one billion people, there's a one billion people region. And this is the region, current region of famine. And it's also a region, region of hunger. Now, in the revelation, it tells us that there was a black horse. Now we're speaking about these four horses that have been known as the four horses of the apocalypse. But there is a, there is a deeper, you understand, a more resonant meaning that we need to get to a more core meaning of these four horses. But there was a black horse, it says, and its rider held a pair of scales in his hand. And I heard what seemed to be a voice in the midst of the four living creatures saying, a wheat a quart a quart of wheat for a day's pay a quart of wheat for a day's pay a denarius and three quarts of barley for a day's pay but do not damage the olive oil do not damage the olive oil and the wine now what is the significance of this with the um, manifestation and revelations that we have been witnessing in the present time this is what we need to touch on and this is what we have touched on in uh, another in another um lecture in another lecture and that other lecture is named just to bring that up so hopefully when it's out there this the lecture on Rahab, egypt global famine and the third seal of revelations revelation we go into that in a little more detail right there but this is significant when we ask the question, is Mubarak the evil pharaoh of the Exodus? Is this a point and a time for a spiritual exodus from the spiritual Egypt? And is Mubarak a, a, a mundane or a worldly type of a symbol you understand, of the mythos in the present time? You understand, the prophecy, not interpreting history but changing history the prophecy becoming personified or 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 invoked so it can be evoked and ones then must decide must choose you see then then there's a choice because there's no neutrality one one cannot excuse themselves from the spiritual warfare either in this world or in the world to come or in the next world so there's much more to come, my brothers and sisters. Let's watch and pray and let's walk his way in spirit and in truth. Salam laku alaikum. Islam and Fesika. Shalom. And when the Lamb opened the seventh seal, silence covered the sky. <laughs>